What's up guys, I'm Nehemiah Wilson. Welcome to the Puzzle Piece Media YouTube show. Gonna start doing these uh, once a week, maybe twice, maybe twice, but for sure once a week. Have a little fun, tell you what we got going on. But first thing we're going to do every week is I'll be reaching out on social media and asking questions. And the first thing we'll do, we'll dive right in and get to that question and I will read you some of the responses. So this week I asked people, what's a minor inconvenience that makes you unreasonably mad? They all know things that they just piss us off. You know what I mean? And you know in your heart that it's really not that big a deal, but it just, it, it drives you crazy. And so here, here we got some of those. Uh, uh, first one on the list was when the egg yolk breaks. I guess like when you're trying to make your eggs, what is it, sunny side up or over easy or whatever, and like you need the yolk to, to remain intact and it breaks, and now you got no choice but to just scramble them. Like, I'm not even sure that's unreasonable because if I didn't want scrambled eggs and now I got to make scrambled eggs, I, I, could, I could definitely see that. Um, this one was on here a couple of times. I'm just going to read the whole conversation about this one getting behind someone slow in the store aisles like you're trying to you're trying to get in and out of the grocery store because you don't want to be there god forbid you might run into somebody you know and somebody is just moseying along i i get it somebody coming especially if they're taking up the whole aisle like you know how some people like the cart's the same size i don't know how you take up the whole aisle with your cart and like my cart only takes up half of it but you know uh says yes my boyfriend be like babe calm down i'm like hell no they need to move and after i've said excuse me it's over with like it'd be like that and it says yeah if i have to say excuse me i'm already ready to fight like you should pay attention to your surroundings like if you in my way by the point i say excuse me You've already made me mad. Like, it's all, it's already over at that point. Uh, another one was, when the gas pump says, please see cashier. No thanks, I'll go elsewhere. And it's like, look, if y'all are closed, just say that. Like, I'm not coming inside. I had that option when I got out of the car. I could have came inside then. I'm not doing it now. If your pump ain't working, I'll just go somewhere else. This one, this one took me out. It said, the fact that Walmart doesn't have Google or Apple Pay is like, that's the definition of first world problems. Like, for that to be like, you, we still have debit cards and cash and stuff like, how is that even an inconvenience? But I guess, you know, whatever. Somebody said, even Dollar Tree has Apple Pay. <laughs> and it's like, Hey, Walmart wants to make things as difficult as possible. Uh, another one was seeing someone that pisses me off. And I wanted to clarify on this. So I was like, do you mean just like, you mean like running into them, having to talk to them and interact with them? Or just like you see them, like your eyes land on them. And they said, no, just seeing them. And that's like, <laughs> that's not even an inconvenience yet. That just means your eyes work. Like that's a, that's a good thing. You see, I got glasses, my eyes don't work. So I'm generally happy to be able to see anybody. Don't really take that as an inconvenience. This is one, this is one that, you know, causes debates all over the place. Toilet paper being placed incorrectly on the holder. It clearly goes over in all caps. And that's, that's true. The toilet paper should, it should go over the top. Like you shouldn't be reaching under to, to grab it. That's just, you know. Self-checkouts. If you trust me enough to scan my own groceries, I shouldn't need approval to buy a gift card or use a coupon. True story. Like, if I'm ringing everything else up, let me ring up my $20 gift card and put it in there so I can keep it moving. Let me use my coupon to get 5% off. Let, don't, if you want me to do it, let me do it. And then don't stop me on the way out. Like, did you do all it? I don't know, did I? 
Like you could have done it and we wouldn't have this problem. So that's that. Uh, when someone chews too loudly or eats a crunchy snack around me, go on somewhere. And it's like, yeah, I kind of get that. Loud chewers ain't, ain't really fun. Some people be, you know, doing too much. And then somebody responded, said, that's me with people chewing mashed potatoes. And it's like, who chews mashed potatoes? Like, they're already chewed. Like, you don't, you, it's almost, it's like a thick soup. Like, why are you chewing mashed potatoes and how are you making noise doing it? Definitely get that one. Somebody just said grocery shopping. I get road rage in the store. Yeah, uh, this is a, a long one. Somebody, somebody had a lot to get off their chest with this one. Uh, grocery shopping and somebody making all, somebody moving all slow beside, besides older people. They get a pass from me. People that leave shit on their plates and set it in the sink rinse that MF shit off and people that don't say excuse me when they brush past slash bump into you and Lord and behold they better not and, oh, and lo and behold they better not step on my MF in shoes because you will get pushed down in the store in front of your kids when it's 100 degrees for no reason I'm mad at everybody I think that's all like <coughs> just laid it all all out there like this was apparently therapy for them to get a lot of things off their chest but I mean I get all these people moving slow if you old I get it I get it uh, at the old band director he used to get on to was like hey grandma was slow but she was old what's your excuse yeah like people not rinsing stuff off in the sink don't do that do you at least give it a quick little rinse and try not to have everything stuck to it and yeah if you if you bump me don't like, don't just walk past me like you didn't bump me. Like, I'm a big guy. Like, at least say sorry, excuse me. My bad, say something. But, you know, hey. Those are all minor things, but they can't piss you off. I have one that said, when people on TV shows don't hear me yelling at them, like, why am I getting ignored? <laughs> yeah, I get it. Because I be, uh, I talk to the TV too. I mean, you can probably, you can probably tell them I'm black, so. Um, I talk to the people and I try to tell them not to go in rooms, not to do things, but they don't listen and it, it annoys me. It does. I, I get it. But, hey, what can you do? You know, sometimes things just piss you off and it is what it is. But that's the question of the week. But now that we're done with that, let's, uh, I guess I need to adjust this a little bit. I can adjust this. I can bring this, this puzzle in a little bit better uh my missus my missus did this puzzle pretty sure she did the ursula puzzle by herself so that's here uh as you can see currently we are at 20 subscribers on this youtube channel on pat mcafee's internet the goal is 100 at the moment so if you haven't already done so go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell to turn your notifications on follow me on all various social platforms right now like i said we're at 20 looking to get to 100 steady keep it going keep it moving yeah it's gonna be a pretty simple show we'll do the question of the week we'll go over the subscribers show you the puzzle maybe have some more little props here but it's gonna be sort of a Sort of a one take type of show. It's not going to be a long drawn out thing, even though I'm rambling a little bit now because this is the first one. I'm still trying to figure it out and I'm letting you know what it's going to be. But basically, I'll just be giving my thoughts or my opinion or my impression of, of something like each show will have a, a topic and that's what that's what we'll stick to. And today, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be giving you a little parody. It's my impression of these TikTok gurus, these life gurus that tell you how to live your life and the best way to, 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 to start your day and all these stuff. You know, these people that always get up at like 4 a.m. and work out and do all these things or whatever. It's my impression of one of these cats that always say a bunch of stuff that don't make no sense. and. 
that I doubt that they're really doing anyway. So, <clears throat> here we go. This is me telling you how to live your life. First thing, first thing you need to know is I go to sleep every night with earbuds on. Now, there's there's nothing connected to them, but they're in my ears, ready to go. Because my alarm clock goes off every morning at 3.30. And my alarm clock is set to be an audiobook read on 32x speed. So that book is finished in five minutes. And that's how I wake up every morning at 3.30. By 3.35, I'm out the door. <coughs> By 3.35, I'm out the door for a run. I don't wear any clothes other than shorts, no shoes, no shirt, none of that stuff because I want to feel the fullness of nature on my skin and allow that to soak in. That's, that's part of our problem. These modern comforts take away our actual primal humanity. So I want to feel that as much as possible. And I run 37 miles in the morning every day. At 3.35, I'm out the door, run 37 miles because I'm so in line with the earth and my body. I know exactly 18 and a half miles, run, turn around, come back. I do that in just under an hour, okay? Because I've been doing it for so long and I've trained my body. It takes me just under an hour to run those 37 miles. At 4.30, in my earbuds, I have the Wall Street Journal read to me, okay? I have the Wall Street Journal read to me. I don't read, I don't have it read to me in English though, because I need to expand my mind. I have it read to me in French, Spanish, Mandarin, Latin, and ancient Hebrew, okay? I have the Wall Street Journal read to me in those five languages in my earbuds while I'm doing 5,000 push-ups and 5,000 sit-ups. That's, that's my first morning physical workout of the morning after the run and I'm also getting the all the information from the Wall Street Journal in all of those languages to expand and broaden my mind and give me a deeper understanding of the global world. That's what I do. Now at five now at this point that takes me right about an hour to do those five thousand push ups and five thousand sit ups because I'm doing I'm doing the work. I'm not at, I'm not taking breaks. I'm not trying to ease through it. I'm actually doing the work. So that takes me about an hour. And at this point, it's now 5.30. And at 5.30, what I do is I wait. That's when I wake my wife up. I let her sleep in because she's a lady. She's a woman. She shouldn't have to get up and work as hard as I do. So I wake her up at 5.30 after I've already been up for two hours and, and doing these things. Now, the first thing she's going to, the first thing she's going to do when she wakes up is she's going to give me I guess what you would call oral pleasure, okay? Now, the reason she does this, the reason she does this the first thing in the morning is because I've already done my run, I've already done my workout, and because I've been meditating while doing all these things, aligning my chakras and the dopamine and the serotonin, that is now present in my, in my sweat that is also all over my body and reintroducing itself back through my body into my bloodstream as well. And so by her making that physical contact with me in that manner, what that's doing is that's also giving her all of those same chemicals, okay? So she's receiving this through, it's almost like osmosis that because it's in my body and now she is taking that in. That's, the, the, that, that's what we do. And that, we do that for about an, for an hour. She'll, she'll, she'll go with that for an hour and just receive all of those chemicals that are in my body so that she can do that. And also what that does is that doubles our chakra and doubles our energy. And so now between the two of us, we now have 96 hours of energy for the day because it's doubled for each of us. And so instead of my normal 24, I now have 48 and she has 48 together. That's 96. That's 96 hours that we now have in each day by doing this. Now, once we've, once she's finished with that and once I'm finished 
at, it's about 6.30 or so. And at that point, we lay in bed and we cuddle in silence. Okay? And that aligns our souls and our minds properly. Just that silence and that skin-to-skin -skin contact. It's just like when you have a baby, they tell you to lay the baby on your skin within the first hour of that baby being born so that you can connect with the child. It's the same way. That never stops. That skin-to-skin -skin contact. So we do that. We do that for 30 minutes. And once our bodies and souls and minds are aligned completely, then we're in the gym for a heavy weightlifting session. It's all max weight. There is no warm-ups. There is no stretching. It's all maximum weight, maximum sets. And we're doing that on every part of our body every day, arms, back, legs, abs, all of these body parts. We're working out max, maximum strength, maximum effort for three hours every day three hours every day, a full body, maximum, heavy weightlifting workout. That's what we do. At 10 o'clock, after our workout, after our workout, we shower together. Now, let me tell you what's special about our shower that most people are not doing. Our shower watcher, okay, is actually recycled and repurified from our own urine, okay? So that those same chemicals, the dopamine and everything that we're doubling our chakras through, all of that is now being repurposed and recycled and coming back to us in the form of a shower. Okay? That's, I don't know why everybody's not doing that, but that's what we do. And that allows us to live the life that we live. And while we're in this shower, that's when we're brainstorming. We're brainstorming. Any idea that we've ever had, we're just, we're just saying them out loud. It's a, it's a brainstorming session for anything that could come up, okay? Now, after our shower, we sit back to back, physically touching. Once again, you have to touch. You have to have physical contact. So we're physically touching, and we're silently. We're each thinking about our own personal goals and objectives for the day, okay? She's thinking about hers. I'm thinking about mine. But because we're doing this silently, and because our souls are already aligned properly from everything we've done today, those thoughts and ideas, they, they can combine with each other. And my goals become her goals and her objectives become my objectives. And, that's, and that aligns our goals into each other. That's how we stay partners. Okay? And then, you know, we do that for 30 minutes. Now, at 11 o'clock, it's about 11 o'clock at this point, and another thing that people don't do is people don't want to reflect on their past and take personal accountability. So from 11 to 12, what we do is we each reach out to our former employers, okay, former supervisors, former lovers and partners, okay, and we find out what we could have done better in those situations. We, we do that for an hour to find out mistakes that we made that we now don't want to repeat in the future in our life together. And it's all about personal accountability and learning from your mistakes. And we do that every day, every day to learn something new. Now, by this point, we do that for an hour and at 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, we have breakfast. We have breakfast together every day, every single day. It's important for us to have breakfast together. And all of our food, everything that, everything that we eat, the eggs, the bacon, everything, it's all farm fresh and it's all organic, okay? On farms that the only thing unnatural, the only thing from the, the world that's not nature that's being introduced into these farms is speakers playing nothing but classical music, okay? So that these animals are getting that classical music and getting... The, the energies from that, from the tunes of those songs, and it's now in their bodies, which is then consumed by us, okay? It's very important to pay attention to what it is you're putting in your body. And we have breakfast every morning, and we talk to each other, and we enjoy each other's company before we start our day at one o'clock. And then at one o'clock, it's, it's time to go. It's time to work. She goes her way, she does her work. I go and I do my work. And because, because of what I told you about 
how we have 96 hours of energy into the day now, everything super efficient. So we, we don't have to work eight, nine, 10 hours a day, okay? I'm home every day by four o'clock. By four o'clock, we're home and we've made $78 million in active income. While the, of the things that we were doing while we were out, we've made $78 million in active income. And the, the most important thing, the 78 million, that's good, it's good to work hard, but it's even better when you don't have to work hard to make your money because in that day, we've also made $300 million in passive income, okay? And I can teach you how to do that if you just buy my course, which nobody's going to do because nobody really wants to work and be truly successful in life, okay? So... We get home at four o'clock, we each wind down, recover from the day, allow everything to settle. And then, because we don't like to be inconvenienced and we don't like to wait, because waiting, waiting is just a waste of time. At five o'clock, what we do is wherever it is we decide we want to have dinner, we buy the restaurant so that we can be served immediately when we get there. And it also gives us another stream of passive income that we don't have to worry about. That that restaurant is now continuously making us money. So we buy a new restaurant every single day for dinner. And the passive income just keeps coming in. And then we have dinner, we have dinner together. We go, we get dressed and have dinner at six o'clock every night and discuss our day, discuss everything we've done, make sure that the restaurant is being run properly because we did just buy it, so we need to check in on things, make sure things are in order to see if we need to fire the entire staff and start over or if we can keep some of them. But we do that at six o'clock. And then at seven o'clock, what we do is we split up and we each go spend time with our other partner because we have an open relationship. And the reason we have an open relationship is we know that we are not perfect. There are more people in the world. There are more thoughts and ideas in the world than just ours. And we need to continue to be exposed to those ideas and exposed to that energy so that we can understand it better and it can inspire us in ways that we might not be able to inspire ourselves because we're so aligned. We need to, we need to throw off the balance of our chakras and our energies in order to maintain the balance in our chakras and energy. And I know that's gonna go over a lot of people's head, but most people aren't in happy relationships. So that's what we do. We do that at seven and we spend those three, we spend the next three hours with our partners until we come home to each other. And at 10 o'clock we're home. And what we do at that point is no foreplay, no, no, no kissing, none of that is we go straight into making love. Just making love silently. No, we don't take time moaning or talking or asking to do anything because we don't have to because our minds are so in tune. I know what she wants me to do. She knows what I want her to do. And we do this and we make love silently. And so while we're making love, we can also start pre-visualizing the next day pre-visualizing everything that we need to do and be prepared for in the next day. And so we that, that's, how, that's how we make love and that's how we also make that time matter, okay? We, we, nothing's wasted. We're doing two things at once, okay? And we finish making love every, every evening, every night at about 2 a.m. At about 2 a.m., we're all done with the love making. We've gone from 10 to 2 consecutive, non, non-stop because our energies are so aligned and all the chemicals in our bodies from the dopamine and the serotonin and everything that we've done throughout the day has filled us up with this tantric energy that we go from 10 to 2 every single night and it keeps us aligned and in love and as partners, okay? And when we get done at 2, we just lay. We lay and we allow all the chemicals, all that emotion, everything, all the chemical reactions that have taken place in our body, we allow those time to process 
and seep in so we can get the full effect of it. And we do that and then we do that for a little over an hour to fully get the benefits of that and we go to sleep at 3.20 every morning. Shut the fuck up. We'll be back next week.